so reflection of light by different surfaces so we already know that uh, different type of surfaces are there in our daily life we see the different type of reflections also there so if any ray of light so we already know that light is a combination of a rays so if any ray of light is right to fall on a particular object definitely it should be reflect or otherwise it will be refract so what does it mean by reflection in simple word it will be saying as a reflection is nothing but bouncing of a light when it is right to fall on a particular object then it should be bounce so the bouncing of light is said to be is a reflection of light okay so by different type of surfaces means we have the different type of surfaces are there so uh, most probably one is uh, some kind of things are there that is a plane surfaces the plane areas will be there there is a plane surfaces and curved surfaces also there and we have the curved surfaces are two types of curved surfaces are there so one is a so concave surface and another one is a convex surface is nothing but concave convex is nothing but so one is a convergent and another one is a divergent so first of all we will discuss about the what is meant by converge and diverge convergent okay so after reflection if any ray is right to fall on a particular object then after reflection all rays of light will meet in a one place that that said to be it is called as a convergent yes that kind of mirror is said to be it is a convergent is nothing but for example if you take any object so if you just so release any source of light on a particular object yes after reflection the light should be appear as a bright there is a bright focus of light it will be ready to appear in it so then it will be saying as a so convergent okay so the definition is after reflection the all rays will meet in a one place is said to be it is a convergent okay right so now we will go for the divergent divergent so what is mean by divergent is nothing but after reflection if any ray is ready to just move in all directions of light it is not to meet in a one place then it is said to be is called as a divergent convergent is nothing but after reflection it will meet in a one place then it is said to be is a convergent so divergent is nothing but after reflection the rays will not meet in one place it will be moving in all directions that it said to be is called as a divergent for this we have one activity is there so we need to see that what is the activity right for this activity we can identify whether it is a convergent or divergent so and not only that the rays we can do some activity then we can easy to identify whether it is a convergent or divergent how can we identify in a activity process once i'm going to take a, just once you take as any foam or any rubber sheet is a plane it should be look like a so uh, what does it mean is a plane mirror it should be look like a plane mirror then you can take as a this kind of the plane sheet then after that you just attach three pins horizontally means is nothing but these three pins are ready to arrange so perpendicular to the surface area is nothing but it is a horizontal direction you can arrange it so then arranging of this kind of theme pins then it's a plane mirror you feel that so first situation like this the next one once you just better to try to just move like this curved inwards like this so if you can tell me it will be just showing as a pin 1 and pin 2 and pin 3 so three pins are showing like this then what are going to expect that yes if you just curve inwards then automatically three heads of the pins are coming to the one place is nothing coming together then it is said to be is a now it is a convergent so this kind of the mirror is said to be is called as a convergent what about the divergent means again in third step you get to one thing just you can curve outward direction like this okay outward direction once you curve that then automatically these three pins are going to show like this yes so these three pins are going to appear like this then 
V set to be is a all direction. Once you see that this kind of the mirror will be so giving as a all rays will go into all directions of so light. Then we can feel it is a divergent. Now it is a convergent, it is a divergent. So we can easy to identify which is a convergent, which is a divergent by this activity. And what about this kind of the so directions means it is a normal. We feel that it is a normal. Each and every pin will be indicating as a normal directions. If any area, if you just take as a curved surfaces or plane surfaces or whatever it may be, so the normal will indicate the perpendicular of the surface area. If the surface area is a curved curved ones. For example, this is a circle is there. So, what about the so normal means just for example, you can consider this plane, this is a normal. If you consider this plane, this is a normal. So, if you consider this plane, it is a normal like this. These are the different type of perpendicular line only will be indicating as a normal to the surface area, right? Uh, this is a concave mirror and convex mirrors. So we have two types of mirrors are there. So, one is a concave mirror and another one is a convex mirror. In this, concave mirror is a one of the convergent mirror and convex mirror is a divergent mirror. Most probably the images will form with a using of a concave mirror only. In our lessons, we are, in our lesson, we will discuss about the concave mirror as a convergent. Definitely, so it will make images on a principal axis. So, first of all, this horizontal line will explain that is a principal axis. So, principal axis is nothing but it is an imaginary line. Okay. So, passing through the particular, it will divide the two equal parts of a mirror. So, once you see here, this is an above part and this is a below part. Once you see, so the principal axis will divide the two equal parts of a curve. So, that's why it is a principal axis. Right. Now, just now we discussed about the normals. Normals is nothing but it is a perpendicular line to the surface area. For example, if you consider this is a perpendicular line to this area, this curve, okay? So, curved area, right? So, this area you just feel that it is a perpendicular line. Is it in all our imaginary lines? Once you see that this point is a way that all normals will meet, that point is said to be the same center of curvature. So, where the center point of the curvature will identify where all normals will meet a one place that is said to be is a center of curvature. Okay, right. So, after completion of this one, now I am going to say that for this also, we have the different type of things are there. Listen, if any ray of light, for example, so infinity, ray will coming from infinity. For example, once you see, if any ray is coming from infinity parallel to the principal axis. Okay. So, then after reflection, definitely the ray will meet on a one place of the principal axis. The meeting point of A on principal axis is said to be is a focal point or focus. Okay. So, here once you see that, if any ray is coming from infinity, after reflection, the ray will meet on a principal axis. The meeting of a principal axis on a principal axis is said to be the focal point. So definitely it should be called as a focal point or otherwise another name is a focus. So here and one more thing, one more word we are going to discuss about the where the principal axis will divide the two equal parts of the curvature. Now that point is said to be is a pole. In a, for example, in a uh, principal axis, it will try to divide the two equal parts of a curvature. In this area, the point is said to be is a pole, we call as a P. When the distance between the pole to focal point, the pole to focal point is said to be is a focal length. Pole to focal point is said to be is a focal length. The next one, for example, what about the distance between the pole to center point, center of curvature. So, the distance between the pole to center of curvature is said to be is the radius of curvature R. So, radius of curvature R. So, here the R is the radius of curvature, the small f is a focal length and capital F is a focal point or focus and P is a pole and these are the so terms we are using to draw a ray diagrams. Okay, 
So after completion of this one, we'll go for one more word. It should be formula one. Formula is there that is called as a R is equals to radius of curvature is equals to okay. So two into focal length is nothing but there is a double of the focal length is said to be is a radius of curvature R is equals to two F or otherwise F is equals to R by two, whatever it may be, right? So this is the one of the formula we can use it to get the some kind of the equations by f is equals to r by 2 okay so we can discuss the different type of activities also they will discuss now lab activity we discuss about the for example we can take as a observing the images so what kind of images we are ready to observe that so is a blurry images will be there and different different type of images will be there some kind of the sharp images will ready to present we can easy to identify and object distance image distance we can easy to identify by using of this lab activity okay for this lab activity i'm going to take as a one v stand so v shape stand i'm going to take and the next one is a one concave mirror okay so one is a v stand and another one is a concave mirror and another one is a one candle or matchbox then so meter scale or so on any table so different type of things we need to just do this activity yes so what is the procedure yes materials we discussed so what is the procedure now we are going to uh, ready to arrange on a meter scale on a table we arrange one v stand and so as well as one candle so middle of this v stand and candle we are ready to arrange one paper or anything just movable paper or so before going to arrange the paper i want to say one more thing also candle and as well as v stand so in the v stand we are going to arrange the concave mirror right if you arrange that candle if you just lit the candle with a matchstick then the flame of the uh, particular candle ready to reflect so in a particular mirror it is ready to reflect and ready to effect on a paper it will be ready to show the image of a flame will appear on a paper so we can move the uh, paper front and back towards the front and back we are ready to move then so once if you are going to move here and there then one uh, one area you are ready to observe the flame will appear in a brightness and more sharp than previous previous one then what we conclude from this activity yes so that place is a focal point or that place is a image distance image point then for example for that i am going to say one more thing where the image and object distances for example so this is a concave mirror and now so this part is not useful every time i'm going to say that so concave mirror is the back back side is not working it is not using for example if i'm going to use this is a concave mirror if if any ray is ready to just fall on it then reflect okay i said it is a focal point the next one for example, if any ray is passing through a focal point and ready to reflect. Okay, this is a meeting point, this is the image position and for example, object position is here. Okay, from here to here, this is called as an object distance U. And what about this distance, this is called as a the image distance object distance will show with the symbol u and image distance will show with the symbol v so this is the object distance and image distance so we can easy to identify where is the image position object positions by using of a sign conventions also we can use it right conditions are there conditions means so how to draw a ray diagrams what is the minimum conditions to fulfill the ray diagrams so definitely we need to just uh, fulfill the first condition is saying for example if any ray is coming from infinity so whatever it may be the ray is coming from infinity unknown distances we, we are right to consider that for example once you see this is a mirror and listen here this is a principal axis and this is a concave mirror as well so here this is a concave mirror 
Now the first condition will satisfy that if any ray is coming from infinity parallel to the principal axis, then after reflection the ray will meet on a principal axis. That point is said to be it is a focal point or focus. Then if any ray is coming from infinity parallel to the principal axis, after reflection the ray will meet on a focal point. So this is a first condition. And second condition is the vice versa of this. So first condition. So second condition is the same as this a small chain will be there. So what is the chain of this one means if any ray is starting from the focal point or otherwise if any ray is just coming from focal point after reflection from a mirror or concave mirror the ray is parallel and it goes to the infinity. And if any ray is coming from focal point after reflection from a concave mirror, the ray is a parallel to the principal axis and as well as it goes to the infinity. It's the second one. And th so third one, I'm going to say that if any ray, for example, it is a concave mirror, if any ray is just passing through a center of curvature, this is a center of curvature. Okay. So if any ray is just passing through a center of curvature, once you see here, then after reflection, this is an incident ray, then after reflection, the ray is passing through a center of curvature only. It means the same path it will be acquired. So the incident ray is a ray to reflect so to the same path. So that's why it is called as a so center of curvature is the third condition and fourth condition. Fourth condition will explain that if any ray is the to just effect on a pole. For example, you see here, so directly it is right to fall on a pole. If any ray is right to fall on a pole, the same, in, same angle of incidence it should be ready to reflect. Means angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. So what does that mean? It is the angle of incidence is a i and angle of the reflection is a small r. So this is right to explain that angle I is equal to angle R. How much of instant angle will ready to appear? The same reflection angle should be reflect. So that is called as a fourth condition. Angle I is equal to angle R. So these are the four conditions we need to satisfy. Then that is a so proper ray diagrams in our first lesson. So. Here we need to see that different type of ray diagrams also there is a condition wise different type of places where we are right to keep your object and where we will get the images we have the different type of thing. Derivation formula for the curved mirrors I am going to discuss. So for this I am going to take as a one concave mirror on a principal axis I am going to arrange that AB is a one object right. The object is right to present here the AB is a object and we need to take as a two rays from the particular object. One is a parallel to the principal axis. According to the condition wise, we already know that one is a parallel line. The parallel line of light is nothing but parallel ray of light is right to reflect. It will pass through a focal point on a principal axis. Okay, right. So first one condition satisfied. Another ray is also condition satisfying or not. Then see here, the next one is just passing through a center of curvature. Then after reflection, the ray has to pass through the center of curvature itself. So that's why, so two rays are right to satisfy the conditions of a ray diagrams, right? Then see that diagrams, then here, the one is a parallel uh, light after reflection passing through a focal point, another one is the center of curvature, then listen, the both rays are reflected rays. After reflection, where the both rays will meet, the point is a meeting point is said to be the a image position. For example, see after reflection both rays will meet on this position. This position is said to be the a image position. Now image position, from this image position if I am going to draw a one line, that is a imaginary line, so if I am going to take as a normal to the line, then it is said to be the a image height. This is a AB is a object height and A dash B dash is a image height. Then as usual the remaining things are there. The pole is also ready to present here. The pole is a B and then 
from the meeting point on a particular curvature, if I am going to draw a one perpendicular line to this principal axis, then that line is said to be a P dash, is a imaginary for that. So, triangle based equations we need to satisfy, that's why I am going to draw a line. So, that is a P dash, is a imaginary line or otherwise perpendicular line. So, then we will go further. Once you observe that, there are all kind of the triangles ready to present here. So, we need the similar triangles also ready to present. What are the similar triangles I am going to say? So, here triangle ABC, once you see that ABC is a one triangle, right? So, triangle ABC is a one triangle. As well as the same as this A dash, B dash, C is also one of the triangle, right? Then see this. And so, triangle A dash, B dash, C, both are similar triangles. What are the similar triangles? So, from the similar triangles, sorry, similar triangles conditions, we need to write this kind of the formula. In a mathematical, it will be the opposite values AB by A dash B dash. A dash B dash is equals to so here AC by A dash C. AC by A dash C. See here AC by A dash C. Okay, right. So AB by A dash B dash is equals to AC by A dash C is the first equation we need to satisfy. Okay, right. Good. So now go for the another triangle, the similar triangles also there. The so what are the similar triangles are there? I am going to write. And here is a triangle. So what is that next? Here, next one is a one more triangle is also there. There is a P dash. Now I am going to take this X. Okay. So here the P dash X F is a one triangle, right? So the P dash X F is a one triangle and as well as a dash B dash F is also one of the triangle. Both are again the similar triangles. So by applying of a similar triangles formula P dash X by A dash B dash. Listen. So first of all I am going to write P dash X F and so triangle A dash B dash F. Both are similar triangles. From the similar triangles formula, I am going to write again P dash X by P dash X by so A dash B dash is equals to what is the next one? P dash F by A dash F. So P dash F by A dash F. So P dash F by A dash F. Right. So, now we will go for the P dash X is there. Now, see here, the P dash X is equals to the AB. The height of the P dash X is equals to AB. That's why I am going to take as a instead of the P dash X, I am going to take as a AB. Okay. So, then see here, the AB by A dash B dash is equals to so, P dash F by A dash F. So, this is the second equation. Okay. I need to satisfy this is a second equation. Now, once you see that, the first equation, second equation, left side values are same. A, B by A dash, B dash is equals to both are A, left side values are equalized. That's why the right side values are going to equalize from the equation 1 and 2. Okay. From the equation 1 and 2, I am going to satisfy and write that AC by A dash C is equals to so P dash F by so A dash F. Okay, right. So AC by A dash C is equals to P dash F by A dash F. From this equation, I am going to say that P dash and P both are nearby. So, P dash and P is a both are nearby. That's why if instead of P dash, I am going to write a P. So, that's why once you see that P dash is near to the P. That's why I am going to write next equation AC by A dash C is equals to 
PF by A dash F. Okay, so we got one equation. In this equation, I'm going to take as a what is the AC value, A dash C value, and PF and A dash F values. I'm going to write. So here, once you see, what is meant by AC? If I need to just find out the AC value means I write the PA minus PC, correct? So I need AC value, then I'm going to write that AC is equals to PA minus PC. PA minus PC. Then there is an AC value. Okay, so whatever it may be. So A dash C is also I'm going to just extend it. A dash C is equals to A dash C is equals to now the PC minus PA dash. PC minus PA dash is A dash C. PC minus PA dash, right? So it is a one of the. So next one is a A dash F. So A dash F is equals to. So I need to satisfy the A dash F. How to find out the A dash F is nothing but P A dash minus P F. So A dash F is equals to A dash F is equals to P A dash minus P F. P A dash minus P F. Okay, so this is a one of the so extending of these equations, but just um, substitute all the values in the above equation. Then I'm going to substitute AC means so PA minus PC, PA minus PC divided by A dash C is nothing but PC minus and next one so PA dash is equals to next C here PF means as it is I'm going to write PF. Divided by A dash F is nothing but P A dash minus P F. Okay, so we got these all values. Then what is the terminology we are using? The P A and P C. I am going to write. What is mean by P A? By equation of the P A, nothing but it is a object distance. That's why P A is equals to U, and P C is a Pole to center of curvature is a radius of curvature. <coughs> so PC is equals to R. Otherwise, so it is a 2F. R is equals to 2F. We already know that. Next one, what is that? PC. Already we know that. And P A dash. P two A dash is nothing but it is a. So it is a image distance. So image distance will show with the symbol T. The next one, and what is that? Right, P A dash. We already know that, and P C. We already know that, and P F. So, pole to focal point is a focal length. P F is equals to small f. So, I'm going to just substitute all the values in the AO equation. Then we'll get the so final value. I'm going to substitute all the values in the AO equation. Then see here. So P A place means there is a U. U minus P C means what is that? P C is a R is a 2F. 2F divided by the next one P C means we already know that is a 2F minus. So P A dash means B. Okay. So equals to the next one. What is the P F means? Is a F. It's divided by P A dash means what is the P A dash? So image distance. That's why P B minus P F. So already you know that F. So these are the values. Now there's a cross product. I'm going to do. Then so U minus two F into V minus F is equals to F into two F minus V. I'm going to multiply. The equations so u minus means u into v u v and u into f minus u f and minus 2 f into v minus 2 f v minus 2 minus plus 
So 2f into f plus 2f square is equals to so 2f square minus bf. Okay. So here the f so 2f square 2f square is gets cancelled. And here I'm going to say that uv. Okay. So here the minus uf. Okay. So here once I'm going to say that minus 2fv. Here this equation will come to the side. So that is a minus vf na or fv. So here the plus fv is equals to 0. Now I am going to write that in 2 Fv, 1 Fv is going means the remaining Fv has to present, that's why. So Uv is equals to Uv minus Uf, okay. So in that 1 Fv is going, the remaining Fv has to present, that's why. So what is the meaning of that? So minus Fv is equals to 0. Then where the minus values are there going to outside of a equal. The next one, so uv is equals to uf plus fb. Then both sides I'm going to just divide with a uvf. So uv by uvf is equals to uvf by uvf plus fb by uvf. So both sides I'm going to divide with a uvf. So u v u v is gets cancelled the u u f f and f f so v v. So what about the formula? One by f is equals to one by v plus one by u. Or otherwise one by f is equals to one by u plus one by v is also right. We need to just say that it is a so mirror formula. One by f is equals to one by v plus 1 by u or 1 by u plus 1 by v. There is a mirror formula, right? Conventions are there. So, sign conventions is nothing but so it is a conditions to just follow the rules and uh, regulations and to how to uh, formula or to write a formula and everything. So, either it is a positive or negative directions and everything we can use by using of a sign conventions. So, sign conventions are very uh, simple and it, it should be must in your examination pattern also. So what is the meaning of the sign conventions? The four sign conventions are there. So sorry, three sign conventions are there. One first one is a all these distances will measure from a pole. For example, the pole is there. So each and every distance will measure from the pole only. So that's the first condition. And second condition is a if the incident ray direction is a positive, the remaining all directions are negative. So what does that mean? Incident ray direction is a positive. The remaining all directions is a negative directions. So we already know that this is the pole and what I, what I said that each and every distance will measure from a pole first condition and second condition the incident ray direction is a positive. The remaining all directions are negative and third condition will be there. The above of a principal axis is said to be it is a positive and below of a principal axis is said to be it is a negative. So above of a principal axis is said to be positive and below of a principal axis is said to be negative. Most probably the images will be ready to appear the below of a principal axis. That's why we can call it as a minus values. This is a height of the object and this is an image. So height. So here we need to discuss one more word it is also there there is a magnification the magnification is also ready to present by using of this activity see here the magnification okay so what is the magnification is by using of a by concave so mirror and here the object is somewhere kept on an O the so O, O' dash is an object and we need to consider as a two rays from the object, one is satisfied, the first condition is ready to satisfy, the ray is a parallel after refraction, the ray is passing to a focal point, is the first condition satisfied and second one is ready to explain that if any ray is ready to affect directly affecting on a pole, then it should be ready to same angle of incident will be, so reflection will be ready to present. 
So that's why it is a the I I dash is a meeting point of a two rays receptivity is called as a image height. That is a I I dash is a image height. Then for this activity, now I'm going to write the again same similar triangles formulas are there. So what are the similar triangles means? I'm going to say that O O dash P is a one triangle. So triangle O O dash P. O O dash P is a one of the triangle. And second one is a I I dash P is also one of the triangle. So what is that? Triangle I I dash P. So both are similar triangles. Again, from the similar triangles formula, I am going to say that. So what is that? What I said that H O O dash means H O and H I. Origin height, image height. Then similar triangles formula O O dash O O dash divided by I I dash opposite values. O O dash by I I dash is equals to P O by P I. P O by P I. So otherwise P I by P O whatever it may be. Okay. So P P O by first of all I am going to write P O by P I. So both side I am going to take as a reciprocal values. So I I dash divided by O O dash is equals to P I by P O. Then what is the values I am going to write the P I at P O and I I dash O O dash means see here in this situation I am going to take as a I I dash what is the I I dash is a H I is it positive or negative so definitely it should be negative is it because of the so below of the principal axis that should be negative and what about the O O dash is a H O is it definitely it should be positive because it is above of the principal axis and then next one what about the P I now here I am going to say that P 2 I is a image distance now this is the image distance it should be listen it should be negative. Why it is a negative means what I said that only, only incident ray direction is a positive. The remaining direction means I am going to measure from the pole to I. P to I. That's why the direction should be opposite. That's why it is a minus V. And what about the PO? So PO is a minus U. Same condition. So P to O object distance. Now I am going to just write all values in the above equation. So what is that? Minus H I by H O is equals to minus V by minus U. Minus minus will get cancelled here. And here the H I by H O is equals to minus V by U. Okay. So this is the image. So magnification formula. And it should be called as a M. M is equal to H I by H O is equal to minus V by U. So this, this is the formula to find out the uh, unknown heights or unknown distances and everything by using of this formula and nature of the image and everything we can use the formula to find out it. And the next one will go for the so now making of solar hooker. So we already know that making of solar hooker already. Uh, we know that is the Archimedes principle. Archimedes principle is based on that. Archimedes is one of the scientists. He did some activities on this uh, solar cooker. So what is it? Solar cooker means, for example, uh, olden days, Archimedes did that by using of a sun rays, uh, he burned the particular ships. So what does it mean? There is any magical things are there in that? No, no magical things are there. So, making of solar cooker will explain each and everything about this kind of thing. Uh, all rays will meet on a particular area. What will happen? What is the magical things will try to affect on it? So, now I am going to explain the making of solar cooker. For this, I think the, I need to just collect the one or clip sheet and another one is a old dish antenna. Is a TDH services antenna. Sardina. If you just collect it, and collect the detailed services antenna and RP sheet and as well as one torch, whatever it is, not torch, any cooker, for example. 
for cooking is a dal or anything you want to cook you can bring it so enough these kind of uh, things we need to uh, satisfy and we need to kind of complete this activity and bring the uh, dish antenna idiot services antenna you can bring it so bring dish antenna and inside of the curve whatever is the th is uh, everything information will be there now so in that uh, you just attach one arc lip sheet is a throw the total curve area it look like a concave mirror is a inside part is working as a concave mirror you just attach everything uh, arc lip sheets to the particular area then what is the situation we are going to observe means see that if this total uh, mechanism we can do in the presence of a sunlight if the sunlight is right to affect on it so in that area only you can do it this activity yes at the time the outlook sheets are right to reflect the sun rays and where all rays are meeting so we already know that is the one area is right to all rays will meet and it should be look like uh, looking as a bright image bright uh, spark will appear then at that place you can keep a cooker so any dal you want to cook anything dal or anything potatoes if you want anything you want to cook so then you can keep that kind of cooker in that place that's why so within one hour in a summer days definitely the sun will affect more so that's why so within fraction of minutes or hours we need to cook that kind of things so this is the making of solar cooker secret depend on a concave mirror formula concave mirror is a convergent mirror na? so depending on the mirror so it should be ready to reflect all rays in a one place then it should be cooking as easily so this is a one of the trick we need to use to cook by using of a sun rays right we'll discuss about the conditions so conditions if i'm going to keep a object in a one place so what about the uh, image position and whether it is a uh, real images or virtual images what kind of images will form and everything we discuss now see here uh, if i am going to keep a object in a particular near to the mirror is nothing but so between the mirror and focal point if any ray uh, object is right to keep a between the mirror and focal point so where is the image position definitely it should be ready to affect the behind the mirror so behind the mirror the image will form is a dotted line will explain that will shows that there is a behind the mirror is nothing but it is a imaginary it is a virtual image as is extended extending the rays is said to be it is a virtual image it is not to capture on a screen the real images can capture on a screen the virtual images cannot be captured on a screen that's why it's the first condition you will try to satisfy yes if you keep a object between the mirror and focal point between it then the image will ready to form on a behind the mirror and it should be virtual and next one is a erect so these are the erect is nothing but it is not a proper shape of the image is extended like a so like blur and also we can call as a blur also so erect images the next condition will be there the next condition is there if you keep a object on a focal point on a focal point so on a focal point what happened so definitely that after reflection the ray is right to goes to the infinity it means image is also not to form any on it so it is a no image formation is a no image means no properties for example it is not a virtual it is not a real or anything so no property has to present the next one is a so if you keep a object between f and c it's a fo focal point and center of curvature in between these two if i'm going to keep a object then definitely the image will form beyond the center of curvature or beyond the c so beyond the center of curvature it will form what is that the nature of the images will form so what is the nature of the images is nothing but it is enlarged it should be bigger than object it is enlarged and real and next one is the inverted it is a below of a principal axis it should be inverted so this is the conditions 
Okay, right. If I'm going to keep an uh, object beyond the center of curvature only, then what do you think? So nature and what is the position of the image? So definitely the image is between F and C. Okay, and it is an inverted and next one it is a diminished. So what does mean by diminished means? Diminished is nothing but it is a the height of the image should be lower than the object or uh, the height of the image is less than the object so that is the reason that is a diminish okay and is a inverted real and diminished so these are the conditions are right to satisfy the different different type of areas you will get the different type of images and different type of characteristics we try to present on it so this is the things we need to discuss in this lesson right